Hi everyone, this is Yann Camus of Bliss Climbing and today I want to present to you some work that I did recently. I tested 30 devices and 30 connectors to see if anything wrong seems to arise when using a specific connector with a specific device. The reason is because I noticed that my video with connectors failing with devices and everything got a lot of interest. So I really wanted to show the work that I've done since matching connectors to devices. It might not be so critical when you're belaying someone that is on top rope or you're belaying someone that is on lead from the ground with no risk of factor two fall. But when you're belaying a leader that risks a factor two fall and high impact force, or you're top rope soloing or lead rope soloing, then you need to make sure that your connector is really working the best with your device. It doesn't always mean that it has to be perfect loading, Sometimes some cross-loaded carabiners can be strong enough for top rope soloing uh, if it's not weird loading. And I, I will show you one of the weirdest ways a carabiner can load a device and you will not like it, what you will see. I will show you the Black Diamond Gridlock along with the Love 3 by Taz. This device is amongst the favorites for top rope soloing and this carabiner is a very favorite also. So I put my Love 3 on the rope like this and there is four ways I can attach this gridlock to the device and clip it to my belay loop. So one and two is using the top part in the device and Ways number three and four is using the small loop in the device. So interestingly, there are three bad ways of clipping it and one okay way. I did not find a weird loading possibility. So if I take the carabiner and clip towards my right, like this, and then put it in my belay loop, In that case, the gate, the screw gate, can enter the device in a weird way. And then when I load the device, it's, it's loading the gate really wrong. It is not cross-loaded. It is weird loaded. And who knows what force it will break the carabiner and release you very dangerous in my opinion. So the second way is using the small loop of the carabiner. So I clip towards the right, clip towards the right, and push the device to the small side, and then clip to my belay loop, lock it. And what can happen here is that the carabiner can wiggle inside between the two plates, I don't remember exactly how to do it easily. I don't think it's that easy. Oh yeah, it was going to go there. Now it's in. So maybe with my device, it's a little bit hard to achieve, but who knows with whatever else's people device and other carabiners, if it's worn down or anything. So this could happen maybe more easier with theirs. And then if I try to make the device work, it cannot rotate naturally, so it's locked there. It's really bad. I will show you from up close. So here is what's happening. Um, you see that the carabiner entered between the two plates and it's pretty much locked in there. And yeah, it, it can come out and it can go back in like this. It's very wrong. So now, uh, if I use the small side on 
the device, but clip towards the left. So I clip towards the left, put the small part of the carabiner on the device, clip to my belay loop, and the same thing can happen. Uh, it can wedge itself between the two plates. I don't remember exactly how to do that on that side. It's not that easy. As I say, who knows, with a worn out, oh yeah, like this. So now it's in, and if it's in on my device, it will not come out. And if, if I fall, it will make the device fail again. So very, very bad. Yeah, so it comes back with a click. So now the last but not least, the only way I could not find a way to make it fail, I put the device first on my belay loop and I clip the device towards the left, like this. And I clip and that way the, the carabiner cannot wedge itself between the two plates and the locking gate cannot go inside the device in any way. And the way that the Grigri -gri fails is not possible with, with the Love 3. It comes back to the right position, so no problem uh, like with the Grigri. -gri. And that's it. Now, what should you use with the Love 3? Uh, well, if you're using it uh, quite casually or you're always uh, tending it, uh, you could use the gridlock, you could lose use uh, many, many carabiners, it's not too bad, but if you're in tricky situations where the impact force can be big or you're not having your hands and your full attention on the belay device, like top rope soloing and lead rope soloing, then I suggest one of the most compatible uh, connectors that I found that is really strong also is the Petzel Omni so I'm not saying that you should buy this carabiner, but the Petzel Omni Triact Lock is, to me, really safe and acts very well with a lot of devices. It's not the most convenient carabiner to use because of its shape, but uh, because it's 15 kilonewtons in any way, like cross-loaded or normally loaded, and it acts very well with most devices, including the Love 3. I think it's worthwhile uh, looking at for some situations. So if I clip it the worst way with the Love 3, the gate, because it's so big, cannot enter the device on the side where the plate uh, has a notch. And so it's not possible to load it wrong. So very good carabiner. So just to let you know that this is just an example of things that I've done, testing 30 connectors and 30 devices. The list of connectors is this, and the list of devices is this. So just pause the video if you want to read them all. Uh, 30 times 30 makes 900 possibilities, but I tested 624 up to now, I believe. And obviously there's much more than 30 connectors out there and also more than 30 devices. All this content is available to people buying my courses, either the Top Rope Solo course or the Lead Rope Solo course on web my website. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel, click like on this video, and go see my website, blissclimbing.com. Thank you.